Alright, what's up guys? Eva94 and today we're going to take a look at the Max Factory Figma Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Link action figure. Right, so through the window packaging you can see Link displayed with many of his accessories. He's got some weapons there. Uh, this is the deluxe version which comes with a few more accessories than the regular version. This is only like 10 bucks more. So this is why I grabbed this one. Uh, this from the package, the side just shows a picture of Link. Uh, there's another picture of Link. I know it's blurry, but it's all right. We can see them back here. Uh, there's some more pictures here. They did make a Princess Zelda action figure as well, which I don't have yet. Uh, we can see other accessories just such as his Master Sword and, and the Hylian Shield there, along with a bow and arrow. All right, here's Link Twilight Princess version out of package, and I, never have I been so, so happy to have a a Link figure because, seriously, uh, you guys are going to call me crazy, but I never played a Legend of Zelda video game ever uh, until I got Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch and that changed everything. I'm still in the process of playing that game. It's super long. It's super amazing. It's super beautiful. It's such a great game. It's possibly, it might possibly be the, the game of the year this year. Uh, it definitely deserves a nominee, that's for sure. Uh, but anyways, uh, it made me realize how great Zelda is. Uh, the franchise, and uh, I really need to go back and play the older games, seriously, and that's what I will do once I beat uh, Breath of the Wild, but it really got me into it, and I really wanted the figures, and here is the Twilight Princess version, which is the latest version of Link that just got released uh, this year, and this figure looks phenomenal. I am super happy to have this right now. It, it looks absolutely phenomenal. This figure looks very, very good. I'm very happy with it. I really need to play Twilight Princess, especially the HD version that came out on Wii U. Uh, that's a must. Uh, but overall, just looking at the figure, Figma did a great job with this figure. They really excel at these video game figures. And the accessories is overwhelmingly amazing. Like, there's so much accessories. On, on, in this version, at least, the deluxe version, um... That is, it's beautiful and I love it. They're all highly detailed and, and, and awesome in their own right. Alright, so you guys will need to excuse me because I don't know the names of any of these. I haven't played Twilight Princess, so uh, I'm sorry. But look at this. this. This comes with a real chain. The the sculpt, the paint came out phenomenal on this. There is a peg hole there. I don't know. If no, that's not for that. I don't know what that's for. Um, but this looks great this is not the only thing that comes with a chain right here we do have this uh claw mechanism here which I always like when they include chains real chains for accessories that you know need a chain uh we do have the hylian shield and they beautifully sculpted this painted it very very nice look at that that just came out so awesome the colors look great on that shield turning it around you can see uh where he can put his arm into it and then along with the hylian shield we do have the master sword so I just just got the Master Sword in Breath of the Wild, so this excites me to have this in figure form. Uh, so that's cool. They even got the blue uh, glowiness painted on there. Uh, and then there's the handle. Then we have the sheath for the Master Sword, and I believe you can just stick it completely in there. Yep, and it fits perfectly right there. And then that is also sculpted beautifully, painted beautifully. Just I'm very happy with it. I mean, Figma really did a great job with this. The little things are painted. The, they're sculpted. They, do, they look awesome. So there is that. It fits in there perfectly. No uh, no pushing it too hard. No, no jamming it. No nothing. Uh, then we also have this piece, which I assume is the, the same as this. But it is, of course, put away. This does come apart. Uh, I assume to you take that out and then you stick. Whoops. You stick this piece in there. So it is as if you are shooting that claw out of uh, the hand the hand piece right here. So so there's that. That do have a regular shield here and a regular sheath. So you have the option to have a master sword or a regular sword, uh, and then that fits in there perfectly as well. Like I said, overwhelming amount of accessories in a good way. Uh, we're not done yet. We have a bow, and it seems like they went with a non-string bow. I I thought it would bring a string. Um, but I don't think it does. Uh, so that, I guess that's just to, uh, I don't know. I wish it would have brought a string, though. That, that, that would have been nice. Uh, the arrow it includes is very nice, though. Look at that. Very nicely sculpted and painted there. They did a good job on that. And we have some faces. So we have the normal face on the figure. We kind of have a little grinning face right here. And we have a screaming face right here. 
And then we have this masked face. Like I said, don't haven't played the game, so I don't know where that's from, but I assume it's from Twilight Princess. And there's that. And then we do have the famous Figma rack of hands here. And there that and this includes open hands, grabbing hands, and arrow and bow shooting hands. So well, there goes one. And of course the figure includes the fisted hands. That is all the accessories. Count them. That is a, an amazing amount of accessories for any figure that's that will cost you 50 bucks that is well worth the money i think this was around 60 to be exact shipped and that is a phenomenal price for all that you're getting here his head articulates left and right as so we do have a neck joint too so it does move around uh down and up very nicely arms go forward and back in and out there's a bit of a shoulder swivel there double jointed elbows there is not a bicep swivel but there is an elbow swivel a uh, wrist swivel on a ball jointed hinge then we have a diaphragm joint that swivels as well. They bend forward and back and kind of tilt side to side. Legs legs do go forward and back. Gets a little hindered by the outfit there. Um, so keep that in mind. They do go in and out, but again, it gets a little hindered as well. There is thigh swivels included there. The knees are double jointed as well. Ankles go forward and back. Ankle pivot, ankle swivel, and toe articulation. So very good movement down there and also i don't want to forget this piece right here his hat is also articulated so you can move it around and and all that so you can have it blown in the wind down up straight you know however you would like it so anyways looking at the figure i mean look at that they captured the look pretty nicely they did a good job there all right so the sheath and swords peg into the back there's a peg hole on the back and i assume that goes for the master sword as well so get that peg there Peg it into his back, and it's just like that. So that looks pretty good. That goes for both. There is also a peg down on his pouch. I want to assume that is for... I honestly don't know what that is for. Now, I guess you can peg in both swords if you would want to. There's that option. Uh, but I don't know if that's what it is intended for. All right, so there he is holding his claw. But you can see there that he can hold it just fine that's gonna be you're probably gonna need a stand to display the claw in mid-air of course it's just gonna stay on the floor all right guys but don't worry figma thought about you guys and and after all these accessories link just doesn't come with one but he comes with two figma stands right here two stands are included with this figure um including a clamp to hold um to hold a link if you want to use it for that but these are for the actual um accessories so if you look at the uh the big wrecking ball right here there's a hole uh you stick that right into the hole and there it, there it is so you can display it in mid-air while he's holding the chain or, or you can display the grabbing claw thingy uh if you would want so there's that so that is awesome there's two stands not just one that is highly necessary for this and i'm, I'm just happy that they thought about about that right there and included that with the figure that guys it's also worth mentioning that they make everything so simple for you so when you want to display him with a bow and arrow instead of trying to cram it in his hand and risk breaking it they they, they make it separate almost at every point so you can separate it there stick that right back in separate it there i mean that's just just slide it right into his hands instead of having to cram it in there uh, also the same thing goes for for right here if you want to put his hand inside here in this accessory uh, the handle comes off also this comes off so you don't have anything in the way while you're trying to pose there you know you don't break anything and everything comes right back in they're all peg holes so i think that's just something that's so amazing that they that they think about when they're trying to uh make these figures for us and 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 they think about what we have to go through to have them pose with that specific accessory i think i just think it's awesome so i just wanted to mention that in the video all right so if you guys want him displayed with the bow and arrow that's how he looks again i wish he had the string on the bow that would have just made it that much better but overall i like this a lot i'm sure you can easily put a string there yourself but it's a shame that we have to do that but anyways it looks good nonetheless these hands are specifically for the bow and arrow uh, the left hand has a little peg hole to stick the end of the arrow in so he holds it between his fingers and then the right hand has the finger sticking out so you know where to put the arrow on so it just looks so good it, it really is almost flawless I, I love the way they executed it he also has his alternate face where he's kind of yelling so that's pretty much goes all together pretty nicely i overall i love this figure i think this is a must buy for any 
Zelda fan out there and get the deluxe edition you only you're paying like 10 bucks more it's not that much of a difference and you're getting so much more I mean I think it's a great great value for what you're paying for uh, and it's top quality work by Figma I mean everything came out nicely sculpted nicely painted nicely overall I really am liking this figure a lot so uh, I do recommend it highly recommend it and I say go out and get him for sure this is a good buy alright guys and that pretty much concludes my review on the Figma DX edition of Twilight Princess link uh, if this review doesn't convince you to buy him I don't know what will I really am praising this figure a lot because it is deserving of that it's it's an amazing figure everything works flawlessly I think Figma uh, really did a great job, knocked it out of the ballpark with this figure. So I highly recommend this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys like, and don't forget to have a great day. Bye.